But what about flirting and holding hands and texting with emoticons? Cheating is the following things outside a relationship. Liking her Instagram picture. Screen someone other than Yara, huh? Coitus. Copulation. Fornication. Procreation. Making love. Score. Huh? She means men or women in general. I think men are more like me, shit. Because men, men are generally more horny. So I think men are more likely to cheat because uh, I think statistics have shown that as well. Uh, I think men are more hormonally charged in that sense. Men? Because, you know, they think from their smaller head. It's called the penis. The men are more likely to cheat. Obviously, the hotter one. So you mean me? If a guy has to hook up with a girl, he has to be smart, funny, charming, good-looking, or rich. If a girl wants to hook up with a guy, she has to exist. What's to? <laughs> men. Because all men are douchebags. And I don't need a man because I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't know what cheating is. I've never been cheated on. Do you know why? Pizza doesn't cheat. Are men more likely to cheat on their partners than women? Let's find out. Common belief and past studies have suggested that men are more likely to cheat. In fact, the evolutionary theory suggests that men prefer multiple partners, whereas women are more invested in having one partner for child rearing. Interestingly, more recent studies suggest otherwise. In a study that researched sex differences and self-reported infidelity, 561 university students were asked to report if they have ever cheated on their partners. The questionnaire defined cheating to include both sexual intimacy as well as romantic behavior such as kissing, flirting or emotional cheating. Surprisingly, the results showed that amongst the younger generation, men were not more likely to cheat. In fact, the number of reported infidelity among women was slightly higher at 6.4% more than men. The same study was then conducted for a mix of university students and adult participants. The definition of infidelity was the same, but this time they included a separate question for infidelity in the form of sexual intercourse. Under the broad definition of infidelity, again men were not more likely to cheat. In fact, men reported 39.3% as compared to women, who admitted to 50.6%. However, in the narrow definition that included only sexual intercourse, there was no material difference between men and women, with a reported 20% and 19% respectively. So why is it that among the younger generation, we no longer see gender differences in infidelity? Does this suggest that the evolutionary theory could be obsolete? A study on power's effect on infidelity suggests that rather than gender, power is a more significant factor for infidelity. That is, powerful people are more likely to be infidel. One effect of power is confidence. The more confident a person is, the more attractive they seem to the opposite sex. It also makes one optimistic about the possibility of sexual interest in potential partners. The study involved 1,275 working professionals and sought to measure power's effect on intended infidelity and actual infidelity. Power was measured by asking participants to indicate their position in their organization. The study revealed that power was positively associated with infidelity and that it would increase confidence, strengthening the power-infidelity link. Interestingly, other mediators like psychological distance and the perceived risk of one's partner finding out were also measured but proved to be insignificant. In the past, men were more likely to cheat, which could be attributed to the significant difference in socioeconomic position between men and women in those times. However, among the younger generation, Differences in socioeconomic position between men and women are immaterial. Hence, women with power are just as likely to commit infidelity as men, and thus this shows that gender is not a moderator in infidelity. Thus we can conclude that the myth that men are more likely to cheat has been busted. Thank you for watching.